Yep, Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of brilliant idiotness. Mm-hmm. Uh, goddamn. I feel like I'm still taping flavor. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we did three hours of flagrant. How long was that flagrant episode? Like two forty-five. We might even cut a little bit. My that God, long. that was long. Hold on, but it's already out, isn't it? Yeah, we dropped it today. We're recording this now today on Tuesday. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I text. I'm like, I'm like, man. I text y'all. Are we podding today, yo? Because yesterday was pod pod. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah. We were podding. Yeah, yeah. pod pod. We were That's what podding is about, though. Yeah, yeah. but you know. All right, all right, all right, all right. What? Come on, let's get to the <laughs> let's get to the gay right. shit. We yeah, didn't yeah. talk. We didn't. We didn't talk about this yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but we, you, you seen the picture? Um, There's a beautiful picture I, of I, black love. I think it's a beautiful picture. of Just love, period. But it's also black love. Uh, yes, it is black love because it is two black men. But, and I I don't know. I don't. I don't even want to say. I guess. You know, we're not used to seeing black men like that, but that's we not true. We are used to seeing black men like that. Yes, we're, see, we're, used, we're not, I guess we're not used to seeing men in this pose. We're talking about the picture of Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan. Oh, is that what that is? What you mean? Oh, shit. You I didn't thought, see a picture? Look. No, but I thought this was a Moonlight 2. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Shut that's up. not, they're not coming out with Moonlight 2. No, this is, uh. I guess it's a prom- promotion for Creed. I don't know what magazine it is, though. You know what's crazy? These pictures don't look crazy to me. They're beautiful. Like I, 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 I Black see, love, man. Just love, period. Male love. Yeah, but it's also black male love, dude. It's, that's revolutionary. Like, I don't... Black love is revolutionary. Black love is revolutionary. But, like, there's nothing crazy about these pics to me. There's one pic Jonathan got... I don't know if that's Jonathan's hand on Michael B. Jordan's head or Michael's holding his own head, you know, with the suffering from success pose. There's another one where Jonathan got his arm around Michael. Mm. Another one where they're head to head. Another mm. one they both got their hands. Like, let me, can I read what Van Lathan, our guy please, Van wrote? Please, please read what Van wrote. <clears throat> Damn, should I take my veneers off? I don't want to spin on the mic during this one. Yeah, please right? do that. Please do that. Um, these aren't veneers. veneers. These are Invisalign. You're wearing, yeah, yeah. Um, you're, you're, you're Van retainers. Lathan. Van Lathan said, I've been seeing the comments on this pic of my brothers, Mike and Jonathan. Mm. It seems like the tenderness makes some of y'all uncomfortable. Mm. Let me tell a little story. I had an epic panic attack in 2004. I've told this to y'all in the past. Me and my oldest friend Ryan were on our way to a basketball game and my body just started punishing itself. We stopped and I went into a convenience store. They called paramedics. I actually had to be airlifted. I and they thought I was going to die. My friend who was with me was what y'all would call a street N-word. He put that in parentheses at the time doing his thing Mm. and pretty emotionless about it. When I was spiraling, hyperventilating and breathless, I turned around and saw him. He was crying. He didn't know what to do. And he thought his friend was about to go. He put his arm around me. Van, you okay? Van, I love you, bro. Come on, man, breathe. The closeness of the moment, the touch, the words helped balance me. I was also scared to ride in the helicopter. (laughs) My friend, my brother, who is not at all what any of you would call woke or evolved, even still, had to show up for me with affection. He had to hold me. I'm begging y'all, stop adding to the emotional castration of black men. Stop sexualizing every bit of vulnerability we show, including to each other. It's hurting us, and it's hurting those around us, too. Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan, appreciate y'all. Let me tell you something, man. Tell me. If you see gayness in this picture, if you see anything about sexuality in this picture, it's you. (laughs) All right? What do you mean? Because I don't see that in this picture. Like, what does that mean? Stop sexualizing every b- bit of vulnerability we show. I didn't even see vulnerability. I just saw a photo shoot. You've right. done photo shoots, Andrew. Yeah. In photo shoots, photographers tell you to do things. You either do them or you don't. Is this what we're doing now? What do you mean? We're, we're going to have a completely different take than before we were listening <laughs> to the Oh, no. Podcast? My take, oh, my is take, that, my, is this what no, no, no. Do? My You're take, look me in my the take eyes from like before, no, no. Something completely no fucking different. My take from before. When I was trolling Van yesterday, okay. and I read this, I, this hold is on. fun. I'll read, this, there I'll read, we go. I'll read, this I you. like. Hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. I'll read to you what I text Van yesterday because I saw that and I was like, perfect opportunity to fuck with my guy. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because you know, that's what I like to do. I like to fuck with my peoples. So this is me. This is me, and I text. It has nothing to do with Jonathan and, and Michael. I'm just responding to yeah. the context of what Van tweeted. Yeah, I said you said everything except for. What if these brothers just want to be gay? And now they definitely can't come out. And Van said, but we know they aren't. And I said, well, we don't. And I said, I don't know what either one of their sexuality is. Mm. I don't care. Mm. I'm just saying, what if they are? You didn't even remotely acknowledge the union. Mm. Okay? You didn't even acknowledge it. 
You made it about everything else. But the fact that they could be. They could be. And they could love each other, and that's beautiful. Uh, b- by the way. I would say it's bigoted to not assume that that's one opportunity. Here's the thing. How about don't even acknowledge the picture other than for, other than for what it is, a picture? I just see a dope pic. That's a dope pic to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Tell me what you see. I see some gay shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. What you think he was gonna say? Yeah, when you yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell you set me That's up? That's not what he was saying before the camera. What was I saying on. before? You were saying it looks good and you like it and you think it's dope. Yeah, I, I believe I feel that way about gay things. <laughs> There's nothing gay about I grew up in a dance studio. We gotta stop. You don't think that I haven't seen that? Here's the thing. First oh, of all, there's you, nothing gay about you, it, but you, the one holding the other guy's head, where do you think the rest, where do you think his head's going at? I don't later? even know that he's holding his head, but I want to tell y'all, I want to have a conversation mean? about this alpha male thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, yeah. Seriously, let's have a conversation. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Talk about, talk about, he's not holding his head. You see his head. Listen, can we have a conversation he's about holding this? holding his talk head. About, can we have a conversation about this yeah. alpha male thing? Yeah. If you can't beat either one of their ass, shut the fuck up. Hey, talk that because, shit. Because as soon as Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan... Because they, they pretend protect, to box. No, they really do box. Oh, oh my God. God, here we fucking Such go. Do you believe everything in the fucking movie? Did I, did Both I of see, them beat y'all ass. Did Ice-T kill an anaconda? Did Ice-T take out an anaconda Put it like this. What, 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 what else happened in the movies they, that listen, you actually believe They boxed real? enough to throw a two-piece <laughs> yeah, and yeah. knock either one of y'all out. I mean, maybe if we're not defending... You think you could beat Jonathan Majors or Michael B. Jordan in a fist fight? I don't know how tall Jonathan Majors is, but Michael B. Jordan and I would wipe the floor with him. Oh, God. There's not even a question you're about out, that. You're out of your mind. Son, Son, I've reach. been boxing since I'm 20 years old. You're out of your mind. I'm 40. You're out of your mind. You're out of your weight class. That guy, he's, he's in better shape than you. Look how tall he is. He's cut up. He's about six feet. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, 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 I thought he was short. I, 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 I thought he was like see? Hollywood six feet. I nah, thought he was nah, like 5'8". Nah. He bought your height. He actually bought your height. All jokes aside, he bought your height. He bought my I've been around Michael. He bought your height. All right, I might not wipe the floor with him, but I'm going to get a decision. <laughs> I'm going to get the I ain't talking about decision. no... No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck the ring. I'm talking you know about in the street. Jonathan walk up on you and say, yo, you the dude that was talking that shit? On no, the no, podcast? we're not talking about Jonathan. We're talking about Michael B. Right? No, no. I don't know if how tall Jonathan can't. is. No, no, no. I don't know how tall no, no, Jonathan no, no. is. Look, look at that. Come on now. Come on now. I'll, 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 be, I'll beat that guy up. You, you, no way. I'll be, <laughs> ain't no Calvin Klein model fucking me up, yo. That's, That's my, not going to happen. I'm out. That's my no point. No Calvin Klein what, model from Marky what, Mark what, what, to mm-hmm. Michael B is fucking me what up. What you're doing right now is exactly my point, and this is a message to all... <laughs> I all, started out with this is beautiful. You try to make it violent. No, Why I can't didn't. I celebrate yeah. two men hugging on one another? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not Whether a, it's no, 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 it's beautiful no. to me. It, it's not about you, but it is about you, but it's about everybody that has things to say about... Oh, that's gay. Oh, What's that's... wrong with being gay, bro? Listen, listen. Can you tell me? If you're not gay, you don't want to be called gay. You know that. But listen. I get called gay every day. Me too. <laughs> and I'm not going to sit here and act like. Come on, give me a hug, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> what? Right? Right? <laughs> what the fuck? Semen. <laughs> when the... semen, bro. When you hug that's your called guy. semen. I'm out. All right? I'm out. We're not timing out. <laughs> We're not pausing. When you hug your guy and gel ends up on your cheek. That's a little crazy, yo. Oh, you think that's crazy? <laughs> they was damn near neck kissing and all them fucking photos and you were saying there's nothing wrong with it. It's not. Here's the thing. All I'm simply saying there is There isn't this. anything wrong with it. That's my point. My thing is this. Whether you gay or you straight, to all of you people you still, out there... You still beautiful, Listen, bro. to all you people out there calling them brothers gay, <laughs> to all you people out there saying they're not alpha male... Or they're they, alphas! They will whip your ass. And then fuck it! And that's what I want to know. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yo, come on. Can you really call somebody soft? <laughs> can you yeah. really call somebody beta if they can beat your ass? We're not calling them soft. Nobody call them soft. What are you calling them? Gay. You can okay. be. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, 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 Alex, keep that same energy. No, 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 no. I'm going to no, no, no. make that sure that happens. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to make sure Jonathan Majors or Michael B. Jordan. Why are you bringing Jonathan Majors into this? I know. Why y'all don't want no Jonathan smoke? I He... he <laughs> He look like he could fuck me up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Exactly. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think both of them. Wait, fuck how both tall is up. Jonathan Majors? I think he's taller. Same height? Same height? No, nah, I don't think Jonathan is the same height. Nah, I think he Jonathan just learned too. boxing. If he just learned boxing for the movie, I'm Jonathan, fucking him up. Nah, Jonathan, look at that. Come on, man. What you gonna do with that? Except get your ass kicked. I mean, he is in phenomenal shape. They both look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to I tell like, y'all. I feel like I might be gay. <laughs> Maybe this is what we really got to get out. Maybe we're projecting no, on homosexuality. Out. Oh, now we getting Yeah, because now- they made you feel gay when you saw them rubbing up on you one another. You see like them that. and you can't help but think sex. Woo! <laughs> 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 what what sound just came out of me? Nobody wants. Listen, can can men be honest Woo! with themselves for a second? 
Yo. You see Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan. And you think hands on my knees you, on the top. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hands on my knees That's on what you think. Come on. That's what you think, man. Come on, bro. Let loose. That's what you think, Hands bro. on my knees. That's what you think. Look at that. Come on, man. Come, Come on, on man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know Come what I'm on, saying? Bro. Every day the sun don't shine. That's why you love tomorrow. I might let him beat me up just to build his confidence. <laughs> no, both, of them be, both of them beating y'all ass. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what? Why do you think that I can't box a little nah, bit? I want to see two Mike. on one. We could take. Oh, two on one. No, you can't. No. What? I don't think either one of y'all two on one could beat Michael B. Jordan or Jonathan Majors. Charles, you, you know need he's more an actor. Yo. He's an actor. You need more confidence in yourself. He's an actor. I said y'all two. Yes. <laughs> I don't say. You told me how he got down to Sweden. He didn't Yo, get fucked up by a Swedish guy. I ain't was four what are you on about? top of What you talking about? I ain't hold on. Yo. Bro, he's a karate expert. You going to cat right now. The guy was number two in all the United States in karate, you bro. You going to cat right man. now. Yes, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all ain't never told me that part. This yeah, motherfucker yeah. was number two in all of the United States oh, in karate. Oh, Alex was. Yeah. Not the Swedish guy. He's from Sweden. How are you going to be number Alex one in the United States? Alex number two in karate? He was when he was younger, when he was, uh, when he was uh, in the streets. Get the fuck out of here, man. Swear to God. When he was in these streets, You don't remember none of that shit. What John do you mean, bro? You or everything. All of that shit will go out the window as soon as you see Jonathan May just walk in the room. It went out the I window s- with a I Swedish bouncer, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, I you know what I'm saying? Son, I caught him good. Nah, he did catch him. He did catch I him. I caught him good. He did. And then he whipped out a baton. Yo, so what I'm going to do against a baton? Can I, can I be completely honest with you? If I'm really. If real you reason, know karate, you take no, that no, shit no, from no. him. I'm going to make an argument for Al. Okay. The guy, the bouncer said in the court, Al hit him 40 times. Oh, that's true. Al only hit him three or four times. But it felt. Yep. Like it was 40. That's Bruce, not what it is. That's karate, son. Yo, he did say that. Son, don't he ever was, say, oh, got you, son. That's not what it is. Yo, me and Al he said together? that in the courtroom to make it seem like he was under more of a threat. That's why he had to pull the baton out. What? What? Say pull the baton out one more time. <laughs> <laughs> say, hold on. Not why we got Jonathan Majors looking like that. <laughs> That's bro. what I'm trying to tell you. Jonathan y'all. Majors might fuck you Listen, up. Listen, by the yep. way, it is a lot of hate for Jonathan Majors and Michael why, B. Jordan. Why are you hating on Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan? Because the ladies like him. And guys it's are jealousy, saying, bro. Listen, guys are saying things like that because they're jealous. Jay Z had a line one time where Jay Z said, um, I think it was on Hey Poppy, where he said, um, have dudes saying, have dudes hating for real, like have have dudes hating saying shit like I wish he was gay. You know what I mean? Whoa. Just because Jay Z was getting all the chicks. So he was saying that, that saying that's what dudes say about him to keep their girl away from him. That's what I see happening with just Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors. Oh, 100%. Because y'all are over-critiquing every single what, thing what that they do. What are we critiquing, bro? Social media. Why oh, you think Van okay. put that long-ass caption? Oh, that's and you, because you called him gay, too. No, I and gay. you called him gay. I didn't right, call him I'm gay. I'm going to make sure y'all meet y'all makers, goddamn. Sir, two on one. You're going to see Kang. Sir, two on one. Hold on, You're going to see Kang. Hold on. I just need to understand here. What did I say? <laughs> so you, I called him, you called him two brothers gay, yo. No, I said they could be gay. No, they could. Well, you see, they couldn't. I don't know. Oh wow! Wow! Oh wow! wow. What? Look at you flippity flopping. Ah, oh, no, I don't, I don't. That's flip flops right I here. Mean, look, bro. I mean, I mean, in 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 theory, we all could be gay. And that's wow. that's how <laughs> you know, it starts. <laughs> that's how it starts. That's but how it starts. But I don't bro. think either one of those brothers are. But I do know y'all ain't gonna keep that same energy in their face. So two on one. I got all right. It. Two on one. Keep I that got same, it. When y'all get pressed. All right, ready? All right, when All Mike, right. how when are we going to handle it? Michael B. Jordan. Walking. He's sitting right there. He's That's sitting right. right there. What do I got to say? Yo, in a boxing match. No, no, Michael B. Jordan sitting there. We, you, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, the gay kid, In a right? boxing match. No, 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 the gay kid, right? You coming on to me? me <laughs> <laughs> you coming on to me? Or Jonathan Majors. You coming on? Or John, the, the gay. Oh, the gay guy, right? That's, you, that's what you said? Are you saying you're gay? No, that's what Jonathan would say to you. You made me feel gay when I looked at you. Good answer. When I looked at you, good answer. That's the first time in my life I felt so. Gay. So you can say I was wishful thinking. <laughs> Wishes come true. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Listen, 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 Charlotte, man. Listen, listen. You think I can't oh my wriggle God, myself man. out of this? Y'all gonna have to. Wait, what do you mean we're gonna have to? Because I'm gonna the make hardest... sure y'all meet Michael B. Jordan and John. The gay shit is fine. The trickiest thing is the fight thing because we actually have to fight. Y'all can't but... beat either one of them guys, bro. I don't, I don't know about all that, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about all that. I think you underestimate me. Taylor, who you got your money on? But I don't know about Jonathan Majors. Maybe he's been fighting since he's younger. Who? Jonathan Majors. Maybe he's been fighting since he's younger. Both of them brothers. Why do you care about the acting? Like, they can still be boxing outside the acting. Dang. <laughs> nah. All right. Most actors yeah. I'll beat up. You know, you, know, my, you, know, you, know when Michael, you know when Michael had got knocked out in, uh, I think it was Creed 2? 
That was a real, he really yeah. got knocked out? By Tony Ballou, I think. I forgot who it was, but my point is, he's really in there banging with real boxers. All right, so he can get dropped. Yeah, I don't know that's if that's the example you, say. you want to use. He's got a glass that's the wild example. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. Alex talking real tough, boy. Yo, you don't know that you yo, you're tough. Yo, yo <laughs> you're tough. one day Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan gonna walk into WTF media. You keep media. bringing in Jonathan Majors I know, I don't for no know why reason. You bring why it? y'all don't want the Jonathan? That's Tang, bro. Y'all, y'all don't That's want the Tang, Jonathan, bro. Why y'all want the pretty boy? Y'all think the pretty boy? Y'all whoa, think Michael whoa, B. Jordan? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Why you think he's so pretty, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Those are two good looking men. No, no, you said no, one you said was the pretty boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Wait, which one is more pretty than the other? Michael B. Jordan. You think Michael B. Jordan better looking than Jonathan Majors in the face? Yeah. You bug it. Nah, bro. You bug it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no, you bug don't it. Try, yo, nah, you nah, nah, don't try to get out this ass. Nah, nah, nah. Don't try to get out this nah, Jonathan nah. Majors ass. Bug Jonathan Majors, bro. <laughs> Jonathan Majors, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what university I can study? You? Yup. <laughs> Where's all your variants at? I want all the variants. Whoa. See? Now you're trying to get out that ass. See? Now you're trying to get on Jonathan. Good Hold time. on. You're bleeding in your mouth. I am? Yeah, 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 yeah. You fucking. Uh, in the bottom, your bottom one is, is got red on it. Really? Yeah. Did you pay your bet earlier this week? <laughs> no, for real, for real, no. for real. Dead ass. It's inside the retainer. Yeah, it's the it's the invisible line. Yeah, but you your teeth are red. I, I'm I'm not making it up. Al, show just show Al so he knows. It's these teeth. Right oh, here. Yeah. So it's underneath the invisible line. And nothing I can do about that, right? Now. Take off fire. the invisible line. No, that's fire. Take it off. Yeah, because the blood is underneath it. So it's never gonna go away. Yeah, that's, how your, that's how your mouth gonna look after Jonathan Majors catches you, boy. Right. Wait, hey, you man, keep, Michael B. Jordan. You huh. keep saying yeah, you're the one who <laughs> you're the one who's so excited right now, biting your lip and shit. Yeah. Come on, son. Okay. <laughs> no, the bottom one, son. I'm gonna take both of them out. Oh okay. shit! All right. All I know. <laughs> all right. All right. I see you. All I know uh-huh. is that if you cannot beat Michael B. Jordan or Jonathan Majors in a fight, you can't shit on their manhood, bro. Yo, yo. First of all, calling somebody beautiful and hot. Is not shitting on their manhood. I totally agree. But when you get under the comments and you make statements like they're not alpha males and they're Who said agenda, that? The social media. I'm not saying that y'all say that. All right. And when, you, more and when you get on podcasts and call man's... them gay. Who called no them, gay? them gay? We said they could be. They no, could be. You said gay. No, nah, I said could I be. said, what do you see when you see that picture? You said some gay shit. You said gay. No, th- ah. that was some gay shit. Holding another man's hand. That's not gay. Let me do that to you. See how you feel. Go ahead. Get, from, get behind me. Dude, let's do all the poses. Right, right, right. All right, do the first one. <laughs> Yo, that was wild. Crazy. Put your hand on my heart. Right there. Right there. Okay. Now, Bro, you now, don't now, have look, a now come heart, here, come bro. here. Look, look. You I don't, don't want to touch yeah. this fucking gel. Yeah. No, no, this is, I think I'm holding you like this. Yeah. Oh, my God. How'd that look? Come yeah, on. This one right here. Yeah, this one right here. How you feel? <laughs> Charlotte, you look so uncomfortable. Why you look so uncomfortable, Charlotte? Why you look so uncomfortable, Charlotte? Hey, shit. Listen. Why you look so uncomfortable, Charlotte? Don't grab my shoulder like that, yo. That felt like you like you coming back for seconds. Like, See? You make you feel defensive. Pull that out. See what I'm saying? I'm not saying they're gay, but the photos with some gay shit. No, that's appropriate in gay so. culture. No, I don't think so. Nah, that was appropriation. I don't think so. The only thing, only reason I was fucking with how did man, it feel? How did it feel when I was holding you, bro? Because it you're felt not normal. Gay is normal. It didn't feel crazy. Gay is to me. normal. Like that shit don't bother me. Like that shit like that don't bother me. Wait, no, no, no. Nobody's saying it's bothering you. What I'm saying is, <laughs> when I was holding your titties, you didn't touch my titties. I cupped up your tit. You, t- you put your hand on my heart. Okay, when I put my hand on your heart and my head on your head, I appreciated it. It felt good. Yes. It, it felt like, it felt revolutionary, it bro. It felt. I have a dream. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The white yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sitting podcast. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell you. all other motherfuckers gay no. for two hours a week. I'm going to tell you what it felt like. I'm going to tell you what it felt like. Oh, God. Hold on, I'm going to tell you what it felt like. Hold on, I'm going to read it to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What, what did it feel I'm, like? I'm going to tell you what it felt like. Uh, It felt like, Andrew, you love me, bro. If it, it was the closeness of the moment, the touch, the words. It helped balance me. <laughs> no, my friend, my brother, my podcast host, who was not at all what any of you would call woke or evolved, even still had to show up for me with affection. What do you mean? What right. fucking <laughs> insane human being goes to a motherfucker's deathbed post? <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, deathbed post is crazy. Man, you got to stop with the deathbed post, Yeah, bro. for real, man. Shit ain't ever that serious, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love man, but shit ain't never as serious as man makes it, yo. Yo, anxiety be playing tricks on you, man. My, I, I know. God damn, sometimes you just got to take a breath. Because you know what I do whenever I see social media outrage about something? I'm like, oh, God. Here we I go. I go look at it when I want to look at it. And then when I look at it, it's never as bad as they make it out to be. Yeah. And here's the thing. Why are images of men causing men to lose their shit? Why is everybody's ego so fragile? I don't know. Why is everybody's manhood so fragile? Why? Because they can't admit that they thought it was beautiful. And you know what else I know? What? There's guys out there dressed just like this who getting dicked down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> you think you're dressing straight? I'm just letting you... With your Paris hoodie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling y'all that it's just... I'm just telling y'all that, 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 that images and perception have nothing to do yeah. with somebody's actual sexuality. That's true. Okay? That's There's true. plenty of motherfuckers out here oiling up their ankles letting their Tim's tap. Whoa. That's all I'm saying. That's Who do you all know? I'm saying. Who do you know? I don't know, man. I just think it's disrespectful. Like, listen, everybody has, like, different, like, I don't even know if you call them metrosexual, but they have different things that they like to do. Mm. Some guys paint their nails. Listen, like, I wear my pants short. Yep. That's cute. You know what I mean? Some, Yo, some, you getting comfy, listen, bro. Some guys go to the salon you getting too comfy, and bro. say, paint my nails. Yeah. They're picking out colors. Yeah. I don't judge them. Some guys go and get Facial peels and shit, What's and wrong with dermatologists. That? You should. What you you mean? should. Yeah, What's you wrong should. With that? There's nothing wrong. With okay. It. Well, okay. What do I do? While we're being passive aggressive, what do I do? You got a head full of gel. Yeah, I got a head full of gel. <laughs> all, I'm, all I'm saying is, just don't be so quick to call people gay, man. I agree. You know what I mean? Don't be so quick to like say somebody's not a man because they. I agree. First picture. of all, being gay don't make you not a man. You need to be gay to be a man. That's the other thing too. It's some gay dudes out here that'll beat your ass. And fuck it. And I want to. I really want to start seeing this. I, I want to start seeing more of this, bro. I want to start, start seeing more gay dudes beat straight dudes. Yes. Ass. Talk that shit. Now, if a gay dude beats your ass, can he take it? Man, shut up. No, I'm just asking. I didn't say he should be able to, but did he earn that? Man, Do you know what I mean? Did he earn it? Oh, God, it's like a new version of loving basketball. You know what I'm saying? Loving boxing would be crazy. You street fighting for people's ass? Whoa. Whoa. If I lose, you lose. You got to give it up. You yeah. lose. You know what I mean? That's a big L. But what if the plot twist of the movie is this guy's losing on purpose? <laughs> so that... Son, I, can I tell you something? I, was, uh, I don't think I want you to tell me. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. So I, I was at this little event shit yesterday, and there was a dude at the event, right? Gay dude who was, uh, who's uh, working in the entertainment industry, right? And um, he told me he went to school at Mizzou, right? Missouri. Yeah, Missouri. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, I was like, what? Like, gay dude, like, were, like, were you out at the time? And he was like, he's like, nah, I wasn't out. Like, I joined a frat and everything. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Did your frat like do some gay shit for the hazing? And he was like, no. It was the most annoying thing. I joined the frat <laughs> thinking that the whole time it was going to be this gay hazing and I was going to have to be like, stop it. Oh, no. And they didn't do no gay shit the entire hazing. So he Dang. joined a frat for the free gay. <laughs> for the free gay. And then got no free gay. Why? Because there's no gay in Minnesota or Missouri? Well, Have no. You? I guess that frat didn't do the gay hazing. But I'm saying there has to, so what, he was not getting it anywhere else. Like, I'm saying, like, there was nothing in Mizzou. There was no action in Mizzou. No, maybe he got on the side. But at least in the fraternity, you know how, like, you get in there, like, spank you with a paddle. And yeah, he'd yeah, have to, like, yeah, bend yeah, over yeah, and, like, yeah, act yeah, like yeah. he hated it. But he didn't even get that. Wow. You do it for the brotherhood. You did it for the brotherhood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what they call uh, black dudes that are uncircumcised? What? Brotherhood. What? Man, shut up, man. <laughs> shut up. Stupid. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that is so goddamn stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're uncircumcised. Like brotherhood in the oh, building. Man. First of all, why do they know? Say again? Why do they know? That's funny as shit. Why you call them brotherhood? Oh, I don't worry about it. I don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? We go back. You know what it's I mean? an inside joke. Sometimes it comes outside, but it's... <laughs> the moral of the story is stop calling men gay and stop calling them betas if you can't whip their ass. That's, that's I don't facts. care what their pictures look like. If you can't whip their ass, 
You can't call him soft, bro. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Um, what else we got? <laughs> Drake. Did we talk about this on Flair? I feel like we talked about it a little bit on, on Drake, but I think he did bring up a good point, which is like when you are the superstar, you have the titties. Yes. And he he had this great yes. conversation with Yachty. Guys, you guys go go watch it. It's really cool to see two people that like have you know a mass immense success like reflecting on it in a vulnerable and personal way. And obviously they have like a friendship so they can yeah. talk to each other. Like not as if someone's trying to like uh, get one over or they, extract some kind of news headline. People don't know either. Like they work together uh, uh, creatively too. Yeah. Like, they're like, like, they're like real friends and like real creative parts. Yachty writes. As yeah. much as people want to clown Yachty, Yachty actually writes. So who clowns Yachty? Oh no, people clown Yachty all the time. There was a moment where they tried to make Yachty the poster boy for whack artists like whack rappers they do that every every now and then they'll pick one person and say that's what's wrong with hip-hop but nah you can't do that to yadi yeah i thought i think who people call yadi gay that's a rite of passage yeah. a exactly See, they don't call you gay you really not popular. you're not successful enough no you're not I'll successful enough I'll for real. if they don't say you gay if they don't say you pushing some agenda you're not successful enough that's fact. That's just mm -hmm. that's just a, a because fact they're not af afraid of your influence at all. They're not that's afraid right. of you know. That's right. Because if they not because if they if they can't if they don't have to make up shit as to why you're so successful. Boom. That's what they do. They oh he's in the Illuminati. To oh he sold his their soul. lack of success. That's right. He's pushing an agenda. Uh, oh he's gay. They only do that uh, to 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 justify why they're not successful and you are because they think they're better than you. That's fact. But they're not because if they were then they could they do what you there. do. Stop, yeah. stop, stop, stop shitting on people's anointing, bro. That's what y'all need to do. Yeah. But the thing I found interesting about what Drake said, here's the thing about women, beautiful women and beautiful women with nice bodies. Beautiful women with nice bodies are what men think they look like when they got on chains and nice clothes. Beautiful women with nice bodies are what men think they look like when they got on nice chains and nice clothes. Now, let me ask you this question before yes. you move on. Do you think that wearing a chain of nice clothes makes a man think that they actually look better? Yes. Oh, interesting. They think that it brings the same kind of attention. Oh, it does bring the same kind <clears throat> of, bit of attention. Not really. Because when you walk in a room, it, it don't matter, you know, it don't matter what that woman does. Like, it, it don't matter what the woman does at all. Yeah. If she got a nice body and she's pretty, yeah. you're going to stop and give that woman attention. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not doing that with 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 the guy with nice clothes and jewelry because everybody has that nowadays. Yeah, it's easily accessible. Easily. And I know people yeah. might say, "Oh, what about the girls with the BBLs and stuff? What about them?" What about them? You're em? still stopping to pay attention. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you know what I'm That's saying? That's a good ass point. You're, you're still stopping to look. The guy with the nice clothes and and the jewelry, like that could be that's that's a front nowadays. That's a good ass point. Like a beautiful woman is never truly broke. That's what I'm saying. Chris Rock has a great joke about it in his new stand-up special. Oh, does he? I'm not, I, I'm uh, not refusing not to repeat it, it, but you know, he, he, when y'all, when he does it next month or whenever he doesn't doing the live show in Baltimore, yeah. you're going to see it and you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, check out Chris's. Chris is doing a live uh, taping of yes. his Netflix special. Yes. So you're going to watch it live. Yeah. What's up, Taylor? The only thing that makes a guy with jewelry, like someone to stop is that they smell good. Yeah, pheromones are, are important and smells are important. I think the the jewelry and all that kind of stuff is really just, hey, let me, you know, I have I have some money and I can take care of you. And um, not necessarily. It's supposed to give off that illusion. You know what I'm saying? What That's why you're wearing off? the clothes and you're wearing the clothes in the jewelry because you want to give off the perception that you're successful. But anybody can do that. Oh, no, no. I, I'm not saying you know they saying? are. I'm when saying you, what they're trying to showcase. Yes. When you got a when you're a woman with a body. Yeah. You're like, whoa. Yeah. It's a different level. Yeah. Go, to go back to a Jonathan Majors or Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. They can be in here with their shirt off and somebody can be in here with a million dollars worth of jewelry on. Yeah. Who do you think the woman going to want? Wait, what? <laughs> if you look like Michael B. Jordan or Jonathan Majors. Oh, I don't would, think women care about looks, really. Oh, uh, that's what you say. That's what you're saying. I do believe that. I don't think they care about love. Show your show your wife a picture of Jonathan Majors. I think she'll be like, "Oh wow, that guy's in good shape." But a diesel guy that goes to the gym all the time, but he makes twenty five thousand dollars a year, is not a very attractive dude. I don't believe that. But I don't believe that. You crazy? Yeah, I don't believe that. We'll put it like this: You is the rich guy. You got laid. Listen, you 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 was the, come out come out. You was the rich guy. I'm glad we're having this conversation. Yeah, me too. You was the rich guy. 
It'll be that guy that making twenty five thousand dollars a year working at Starbucks, fucking the shit out your wife. Why you think the whole pool boy analogy? Just, just, why why just you think fucking why, her? <laughs> she ain't leaving him for me, or leaving me for him. You'd leave her. No, if you I found wouldn't. Out. And she'd throw the whole thing away. My point is that, and and not only would you leave her, you'd be your ego would be so crushed. Yeah, of course you would. Be crushed, you would never tell people. She was fucking the goddamn pool boy that was making twenty five. I mean, I would have to. I'm a comedian. No, I have you have to talk about no, this. You would. <laughs> yeah, no, you would. I don't even okay. like pools. Okay, well, let me ask a question. You want to come to my pool party? No. Would you put the pic? If, if yeah. the pool boy looked like Jonathan Majors, yeah. Would you put the picture up and say, "This is who she was fucking"? And Probably. then when you see the audience say, "Well, I can see why she would do that." that I mean, to, this is sounding like a great bit. I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to happen. But this is sounding like a great bit. I guess what I'm trying to say is. Nobody's leaving their husband who is providing uh, protection, success, and, sec and security for the pool boy. They might have, like, they're lonely in their marriage and they're not being emotionally uh, uh, fulfilled in their marriage, so they act out with the pool boy. So, they're using them as a vibrator. So they fuck the pool boy, yeah. divorce you, take half. No, they don't divorce no, me. No, they divorce you, take half, get half your money, and go live happily Can they get half if they cheat? You got to prove they cheat. <laughs> I'll get that pool boy. And and, and nine times mm -hmm. out of ten, nowadays in this era, they're going to side with the woman anyway. No, so they, no, they, that changed. They're going to get half your I'm money. I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I identify as a woman. So, gotcha there, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lady. And, so, say, and that's why I cheated. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? You going to take you gonna take the kids away from a mother? Charlie? But hold on. But you said you going to take the kids away from a mother? <laughs> but you said something Judge, else. How about you? Said, you gonna give the kids this cheating bitch? But listen, <laughs> when we got this lonely bitch at home. But listen, you said something else that made sense. You said I got laid. That's our. That's my point. So did you? Who got laid? You said I got laid. So before before any type of money, our our success. We oh, were, you got laid. Like yes, we both. We yeah. were all. We were getting laid before that. I'm telling you that if you look like Jonathan Majors, mm -hmm. you can be broke and still get some pussy. No, no. These are two different things. And, and, and top notch, grade A level, by yeah, the way. There, there, there's, you can get some pussy. Yes, it can happen accidentally. You can the best get, kind, too. You can get pussy way easier if you become incredibly successful. Way easier. I don't know, bro. Women like success and drive, 100%. I don't know, bro. There's a woman right here. She'll tell you. Say something smart. Say something smart. Where is Say Kevin something Samuels? Smart. When you need him. Kevin would tell you the same shit. No, Kevin would say... He wouldn't say, go to the gym and get abs. Kevin would say the same thing. Get money. Get money. Kevin would tell her, stop being so picky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's a fact. For what? For what? Hey, answer your own question. Since you want to chime in, be honest. <laughs> Be honest. Be honest with Listen, what? Since, you want to be, since we want to be honest. Be honest with what? Kevin Samuels would tell you not to be so picky. Why is that? Charlie? Answer your own See, question. No, I'm you answer the question because you, you saying answer, something. You so answer. what's up? I'm you answer. Not, you saying not, something, so what's I'm up? I'm not. No, you. I have you saying dream. something, so what's up? <laughs> I'm not Kevin Samuels. How do we so then why you know what Kevin's going to say? Yeah, why would thing you thing know said? what Kevin's going to say? What is the first thing she said? You. I said that you're wrong. People will go, women will go for money. That's not true. That's not all. That's I, I, not true. I don't think it's women go for money. I think women are are all the decisions in women's life uh, really come down to security. Exactly. Yeah, so right. money provides security, right. but not all, but but security isn't always money. Security is who do I feel protected around? And it's a uh, uh, roof helps with that. <laughs> true, true, yeah, true, that's true protection indeed. from the elements. But, but sometimes yeah. you have a guy like that that can motherfucking you know fix the toilet. You and, know what I'm saying? No, 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 the, no we're not the, saying the, that. The diesel though. motherfucker no, who can but fit that's the true. toilet. Or like the diesel motherfucker yeah. who can put together a fucking uh, the, the TV shit. You know yeah. what I mean? I can and hang a television. Really fucking tall, yes. tall, strong guys yes. provide security. Yes. yes. And especially if there was a girl, for example, maybe early in her life, she had like, uh, you know, situations that created, you know, not only emotional instability, but like physical insecurity. And now she has this big guy who That's goes, I'll make sure that never happens to you again. I can totally see why that woman That's goes, well, I feel really safe and protected by this guy. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. It's not always about money. You know what I'm saying? It's like not I, always, I, 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 by, the way, helpful. by the way, your guy, your guy, your guy, your guy, who's my guy, your guy, who's my guy, your guy, big James Dolan on a fucking uh, uh, dating app yeah. looking for love. Billionaire. Uh, on a dating app looking for love. That's marketing. <laughs> now it's he marketing. Y'all got, got excuses for he everything. He owned a piece. He owned a piece of the dating app. 
Get the fuck out of here. It's like Grinder or some shit. What is it? Look up. Hey, yo. Look it up. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Google James Dolan dating app. James Dolan going to fuck you up, bro. I, I, I definitely will watch the fuck. Whoa, whoa, James whoa, whoa. whoa. Ain't, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Listen. Oh, <laughs> Wait, Listen. you really think? Listen, James Dolan is on a dating app. But you said Grinder, bro. That's the gay one. It's Raya. That's oh, yeah, Raya. What is, so, come on, guys. Why would you not do that? Come on, bro. He don't know how to use Instagram. Eat my point is look, read the read the caption, bro. Look at that. Oh, MSG oh. Nixon Rangers boss James oh. Dolan looking for love on Raya. Ain't nothing wrong scroll with up. Raya. Scroll up. Read the read the caption. I can't see it from all the way back here. Read somebody read it. Read it out. Okay. Here. James Dolan. The married but separated mogul who runs Madison Square Garden, the Rangers, the Knicks, is looking for a soulmate on the elite dating app Raya. So you decide to look at my profile he recently posted. Write me back. You might be surprised what you find. Ironically, Dolan, <laughs> infamous for using uh, facial recognition spyware to keep his enemies out of the garden, was outed by the post, uh, uh, around to the post by a fellow lonely heart who spied his mug on the app. The what word what, what are they? Erasable? Irascible. 67-year-old billionaire is surprisingly charming and down-to-earth in his dating Scroll up, because it gets better. There's a line in there that's so funny. Hold oh, on. God. I have a job, all my hair, love my kids, <laughs> but done making them sober 29 years. Still, still learning. learning? Still learning how to fucking work. <laughs> now, by the way, we all should still be learning. But, bro, still learning how to get girls at 67 and you're a billionaire? Go, Taylor, run to the garden. Go get them since women love successful men so goddamn much. You think he, since women love billionaires so much. You think he can't get pussy, bro? Listen. Have you ever seen him at the, the garden? Th this man sounds completely pussyless. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? Charlotte, I can yo, I can probably on, beat you at Wordle. Scroll down, scroll down. I can probably beat you at Wordle. Go back down. Wordle, backgammon, and gin rummy. I have a lot going on, but always have time for a friend. No, I don't think he can get pussy shots. Charlotte, come on, bro. Okay, Why would he be on the app? First of all, because he's looking for love. Man, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Both of y'all shut up. Y'all sound insane. I'm okay? not going to have you talking shit about Dolan <laughs> if it's not about the Knicks. <laughs> okay? This is crazy Let this to me. poor 67-year-old billionaire try to get separated some scratch. from his wife, okay? And he's miserable. How is he? Why are you putting miserable on him? Yeah. Did you read that profile? He trying to get some pussy. That's he's been, thing. He's been married for a long he's time. He's out the game. Let me, let me ask you a he's question. He's rusty. Let me ask you a question. He's rusty. Question. Yeah, he is a little rusty. Rusty? Imagine, imagine you trying to get how some you, pussy How do you get rusty years. at 67 if you're a billionaire and so successful? Because you haven't been dating for mad long. You've been married. Oh, so he was been faithful to his wife is what y'all saying. Hey, yeah, what are you yo. doing right now? What are you doing right I'm now? I'm asking questions. No, what are you doing I'm right just, now? I'm just shooting down this terrible argument that y'all presented. This, I'm just shooting this down this terrible, I'm shooting down a homes, terrible bro. argument that y'all presented. You damn near call him a cheater. Hey, hey, you call hey. him pussy list. And you know who his wife probably left him for? Who? A guy who looked like Jonathan Wait a minute, fucking wait a minute. Majors. Wait a minute. That's who. Wait a minute. Right, Hold on. That's who. <laughs> Hold on. Technically, if you work in Madison Square Garden, are you a gardener? <laughs> hold, hold on, this, this, <laughs> what is wrong with left this for a gardener left for a gardener who looks like Jonathan Oh Mitch. no, oh no. <laughs> Can we Google her new boyfriend? <laughs> Yo, you're what's her name? foul, bro. Yeah, I know, nah, yeah, I just wanted, they gave you a piece of the nets. <laughs> they gave you a piece of the nets. They gave you a piece of the nets. I just want to, I'm, I'm never just, defended Dolan I'm just showing y'all that money and success does not always equate to knowing how to get Pussy or love? Nobody said that. Yes, y'all did. Money and success just helps. Eh, depends you who mean? you are. Eh. I think it depends who you are, bro. I really do. I think it depends who you are. I think that at the end of the day, looks, a sense of humor, some charm gets you far. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't bring sense of humor and charm into it because that's also part of the equation. Sense of humor and charm is you great. Can't, you can't pay for that, though. That's true. That's why you know it's the saying? most valuable thing. That's, you can't pay for that. You can't pay for intellect. Nothing better than that. You can't pay for that. humor. That's right. And shit. <laughs> you can't pay for abs like Jonathan Majors or Michael B. Jordan. I mean, you Yeah, can. you can. Yes, you can. You do some nah. steroids. You don't think nah. they're on the roids? Yeah, but even still, you got to work out. You saw Oscar De La Hoya? He got the Yeah, he got, he got, got abs the, the abs. Yeah, but they look stupid. I mean, he got abs. They actually look, they actually look dumb. Like, like, Oscar De La Hoya's do not look real. Like, they look silly. But he's also 60 years old. Well... Sometimes you got to sit your ass down somewhere. Yeah, that's true. What else we got? Taylor, what else we what else we cooking on? Taylor over there stewing. Oh, what? here, here, let's talk yeah. about this. <laughs> 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 this is a good topic. What? Zendaya getting every single penny 
that she deserves. She deserves it all. Honestly, she deserves every single penny. Come on, She's man. Absolutely phenomenal. The diet getting a million dollars an episode for Euphoria. As she deserves to. Here's my thing about Euphoria. They can't come back in 2024 with all of them still in high school. Why they got to they got to fast forward. Why not? Nah, 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 nah. Because all of them like they're all in their like late twenties now, or mid twenties. Like, why you need the acting to be real? Nah, nah. Well, uh, not, Michael B. Nah. Jordan and Jonathan Majors are professional boxers. Uh, nah, they can't come back and be in high school. It just wouldn't seem realistic at this point, especially especially when we live in a world where everything is running parallel. So people see Zendaya, but they also see her character on Euphoria. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or people see the white dude. I don't even know his name. I call him Fez. Fez yeah. You know what I mean? Like Fez had a hit and run the other day. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, so, you just snitch on everybody. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he had a hit and run? It's snitching because it's allegedly, on the blogs. Allegedly. Allegedly. It's on the blogs. What you is you it believe everything on the blogs? I know Mr. Kanye West fan club. <laughs> fan exactly. Club, mm. As he's talking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <You know what laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing Charlamagne likes more than proving Alex wrong in a group I know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing Charlamagne <laughs> likes more than proving Al wrong. <laughs> All I'm saying, okay, we say allegedly, allegedly hit and run. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it is alleged. He's yeah. right. But they can't come back in two years because it's not even coming out till late 2024. They can't come back and still be in high school, bro. Phenomenal show, though. Amazing show. Phenomenal show. Amazing show. And by the way, we don't need them to be in high school because it's their life outside of the school that's so interesting. Too, too old for the high school. That is very true. Like, what's that blonde girl with the barnyard boppers? Mm. What's her name? I don't know. I don't know. Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn. Check his cookies. <laughs> yo, yo, he yelled that shit out. I bet you normal. did them cookies in some milk. <laughs> like, damn. He said that shit like he got her all in his search engine. But, but I, uh, I don't blame him. All I'm saying is in a, in, a, in two years, they, they'll be out of school. Let them be in the street because that's where the most interesting storylines happen anyway. I just Don't get me wrong. That play I scene was high, amazing. I think the high school presents itself as a very interesting backdrop. But but I, you think it's the high school or the community of people? I think the community is also interesting, but the high school uh, raises the stakes. Like all these horrible, debaucherous things are happening to these people who are actually children. You're like, oh my God, this is happening to a 16-year-old? Like seeing an adult that's a heroin addict, it's like, okay, sometimes adults do that. But seeing a child addicted to drugs and like tearing apart hmm. her family and that's a good point seeing children yeah point. I don't know just seeing children go through this stuff just raises the stakes yeah. so am I high. tripping I don't feel like they've shown us um Rue's backstory like or how she they? got into it yeah like how did I think Rue, they had flashbacks they did what well, I don't her, remember her father her was father. dying from cancer yeah her remember and her dying. father was just yeah, like absolutely yeah, loved her yeah, and uh, yeah, 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 and also I think she just had a kind of anxiety disorder yeah because I remember the family arguing with her like her mom and her sister yeah but I don't remember exactly what got her yeah I think it was the father dying and then she turned to drugs God and then yeah. she had that anxiety disorder remember like she would just panic oh yeah, yeah. and then she was born on 9-11 she was born on 9-11 wow hmm. Charlie oh. do you let your daughters watch yeah, I let, I let my oldest daughter watch you for her. How's, how old is your oldest daughter? Uh, 14. But I, I started letting her watch it um, during the second season last year. Wow. Just because, in, I mean, it's one of those things that... They're going to watch it anyway. It's Zendaya, bro. Zendaya yeah. was a Disney princess. You know what I'm saying? So they all grew up on Zendaya anyway. That show with Zendaya and Kadeem Hardison. I can't. I used to know the name by heart. I can't even remember the name of it now. But she played like a detective, uh, like some type of private eye. I can't remember what it was. But they watch her on Disney. So it's yeah. just like... You know, you don't want your child to be flipping and see Zendaya. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Nah, nah. And then go right. watch Euphoria and be shocked. So it's just like, yo, watch it. Do you talk to them about yeah, it? Yeah, watch it. Have conversations with her about it. You know what I mean? She didn't even really like it like that. She was like, thought it was cool. You know okay. what I mean? But like they shit is that uh that Wendy, that Wendy uh Adams show. Wednesday Adams. Who is Wednesday? When well, we tape on Tuesdays. <laughs> oh yeah, that's her name. Wednesday. Wednesday <laughs> Adams. What did I say? <laughs> What did I say, bro? I didn't say a day. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday Adams, yeah. That's their shit. Because it's a little bit younger. I've never watched it. Don't seem younger. You don't remember the Adams family? No, I remember the Adams family, but I'm talking about the one that they watch on Netflix looks like Euphoria. It takes place in high school. It yeah. seems a little bit more juvenile. I watched an episode. It's still pretty gnarly, but... It, I didn't watch it. Yeah, I don't think it's as like um, emotionally deep as Euphoria. Yeah. I'm not trying to knock the Tim Burton show, but yeah, it just yeah. feels like it's aged down a little bit. I get what you're saying. Yeah. 
Salute to Saucy Santana. What did Saucy do? Shame and straight men, the way straight men have shamed gay men forever. Oh, I like that. You know that. what I mean? I you like haven't that. heard this? No. What is Play it? the clip, yo. Play the clip for him, Alex and Taylor. Before I get Kevin Samuels in here, bro. Charlemagne. Charlemagne. <laughs> what? Charlemagne. Now, yesterday, Envy posted this picture, right? This is Envy in his element, Dominican, smoking hookah. Yeah. Right? Yep. Saucy Santana put, Envy, not you blew the smoke out for the pick. I'm sick, bro. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah. What is the thing, dude? And I, I, I'm just, just giving y'all a PSA. I'm not judging nobody. I don't smoke hookahs because of the Surgeon General. You know, you can either listen to the Surgeon General or you can listen to Saucy Santana. Here's what I'm here to tell you. The hookah tips. Yep. This is a fact. You can Google it. You can look it up. Yeah. The hookah tips are made. From foreskin. Nope. They're made out of the same material that they use to make vibrators. They're made in the same factories wow. as vibrators. Love that. So, when you're putting your mouth on a hookah tip. You're sucking a vibrator. You're sucking a little vibrator. I I am fine with that. I, I, I don't have a problem with I it. I love hookah. I don't have a problem with it. And now I notice, if you notice sometimes, people will put the hookah in their mouth. And like do like this a little bit because yeah. they're trying oh. to get that vibrating feeling. So I propose uh, that they should just make vibrating hookah tips. The hookah tips. That's great. That's, that's it. a phenomenal idea. That's it. You know what I mean? And yeah. then now everybody can just you get know, the exact thing they want. Get the exact thing that yeah. they want. So either you're going to listen to the Surgeon General or you're going to listen to Saucy Santana. But I think if you can make vibrating hookah tips, you know, it'll help people come to their decisions a lot easier. I don't think there's anything gay about smoking hookah. I didn't say gay. Oh, Saucy said gay. Saucy said it was gay. Yeah, that yeah. being said, he is the professional. At being gay. He knows gay shit. That's what I'm saying. So if he's saying smoking hookah is gay, it then it is. To it. it might be something to it. I mean, you got to at least listen. You have to listen to it. You got to at least listen. So um, Saucy's right. Yeah. And I like doing some gay shit. <laughs> Simple and as that. You know I what? love smoking hookah. This, this, is, this, this, now, this is why people listen to Brilliant Idiots. Mm -hmm. For revelations like that. Why can't we enjoy some gay shit? Riley Freeman told us years ago, and I need y'all to insert this right now. Riley Freeman told us years ago, everybody's a little gay. Ain't nothing wrong with being a little gay. Ain't no wrong with being a little gay. Well, Everybody I didn't say it makes gay. you gay. It just makes you enjoy some gay shit. Do you think we need another word other than gay? Is gay too extreme? Because gay actually, I thought gay is the actual sexual act between two of the same sex. So do we need like a gay light? Like if you paint your nails... Or if you smoke the you hookah, stop doing that, you know what I mean. You, you know what I mean. Or, or, or if we take the, or if you take pictures like you know Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors did. Like, is there another thing to say? Got you. So not gay, but like throat monster or just something. No, <laughs> no, no, nothing Easier. sexual. Period. Oh, nothing sexual. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, okay. Saucy. Saucy. You just saucy. Saucy. And everybody likes a little sauce. A little sauce. Ain't nothing sauce. wrong with sauce. When the waiter goes, do you I want like some sauces? That. I go, I would love some a sauce. Saucy. A little Saucy's a fantastic. Little sauce with that. Hey, listen, I like sauce. I like that. I grab you gotta, say, you gotta say saucy. I'm saucy. I don't like sauce. So saucy. I'm saucy. A little saucy. A little saucy. Sassy, that's too much. I don't much. like sassy. No, saucy, no. though. Saucy is fine. I don't like sassy. Sauce. Because sa sassy's still playing with people's manhood. Is still no, trying no, to I'm saucy. I like saucy. I like, I'm saucy. I'm a little saucy, I'm bro. I'm saucy. A little saucy. Yeah. No, no, no. We paying homage to the goat. Yeah. Paying homage to the goat. A little to saucy. The, yeah, to the kid. <laughs> to the, to the, <laughs> 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 we don't know that. That's true. We don't know that. That's true. <laughs> that, that, is, that is very <laughs> true. We don't know we that. Don't know we it. don't know But it is what it is, right? Hey, man. You know what I'm God saying? God bless you. I would think so. But saucy is fire. Saucy. So then maybe them picks earlier were just saucy. A little saucy. Uh, no. I just thought they were picks. I wouldn't put that in the saucy nah, bro. category. Nah, bro. Yes. Them picks were saucy them as picks hell. I was referencing, I was referencing those picks because of what people say, but I don't think those picks were saucy at all. Nah, bro. I do want to normalize that type of shit. Me too. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got the term saucy. If you want to get saucy with the boys, ain't nothing wrong with and that, And by the bro. way, maybe you should say that just to fuck with people. Yeah, we being saucy. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I was just being saucy. You know what I'm saying? Being saucy is fun. Because guess what? When your people not here no more, you're going to wish you had gotten saucy with them. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. You're going to wish you had hugged your man from the back. Yeah, put, put your, your hand, hand on, on his, his heart. heart. 
You know, you gotta put your hand your on my hand. heart when I'm a beat. Hand on my heart when I'm a beat. When it was another goddamn topic. You want to pay some bills? Yeah, let's pay let's some. Pay some bills, bills man. What we got? <laughs> Policy genius. Thank you, Policy Genius, for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots podcast, man. If you have a family like I do, you know how much your loved ones depend on you. In a worst case scenario, you wouldn't want them to worry about money. Now is a great time to take the lead to future proof your family's finances by getting life insurance. And Policy Genius gives you a smarter way to find and buy it. Policy Genius was built to modernize the life insurance industry. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. Uh, do you have life insurance shows? You're bugging if you don't. I think I do. You have to have yeah, life insurance. I think insurance. I do. I think I got you know it with policy saying? genius. Like, like, like it, the, 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 you know, the fact that you have something that keeps you covered in case something happens. I mean, it's a good, it's a blessing that, mm -hmm. you know, you're providing for yourself and making a living and you're going to have something to leave for your family anyway. But man, there's nothing like having some life insurance on top of that. Okay. Uh, with policy genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $39 per month for $2 million of coverage. Some options offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Policy genius is licensed agents who can help you find the best fit for your needs. They work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another so you can trust their guidance. There are no added fees and your personal details are private. No wonder they have thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. Your loved ones deserve a financial safety net. You deserve a smarter way to find and buy it. Bless you. Head to policygenius.com or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com. Let's get back to the show. Schultz, do we have sh church announcements? Calgary. Calgary. I'm coming August 27th. Great Outdoors Fest. I booked one stand-up show. Calgary. Great Outdoors Fest. Uh, go get tickets. DeAndreSchultz.com August 27th. Charlie? Yes, man. I have a couple, actually. First of all, I want to tell everybody, make sure to go check out the movie 88, man. Thank you to everybody that, you know, went to go see the movie when it was in theaters. Uh, it's available on Apple TV right now. Thank you to everybody who pre-ordered it on Apple TV. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be on all streaming platforms on March 24th. Yes. Uh, on March 24th, it'll be on Amazon and uh, Voodoo and YouTube and whatever else. But it's on Apple TV right now. If you didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, uh, it stars Brandon V. Dixon, Notori Naughton, and Orlando Jones. It is a political thriller. Uh, I, you know, I like seeing the videos, you know, that people have made about it. Damn, I wish I could remember the brother's name so I could shout, shout him out right now. Uh, I'm going to find it before we get, get off the podcast. But also, uh, all the reviews, man, from the New York Times to the L.A. Times, man, I just like having a piece of art that's out there, and I don't mind any critique of it. You know what I mean? The critique I've seen of it the most is that it's too smart. Oh, <laughs> like, really? literally, that's what it said. It's one, one, one review, I think it was, I forgot what times it was, New York or L.A., but they just basically was like, it's too smart for its own good. You know what I mean? So, hey, it's a political thriller. That is what it's supposed to be, so thank you. And also, man, just announced this week, uh, we told you we was rescheduling, but April 22nd, the Black Effect Podcast Festival is happening in Atlanta, Georgia, hey. Pullman Yards, okay? Tickets go on sale March 1st. Uh, I don't know when this podcast is probably coming out, but uh, March 1st, 12 p.m., tickets went on sale. You can go to blackeffect.com for more information. You can go and see Mandy and Weezy from Horrible Decisions, Carlos Miller, Chico Bean, and DC Young Fly from the 85 South Show. We got Reasonably Shady. We got the Big Facts Podcast. You know we in Atlanta. We can't touch Atlanta without having the Big Facts Podcast, DJ Scream, Big Bank, and Baby Jade. Uh, it's hosted by myself and Jess Hilarious. We got Michelle Williams doing her podcast, checking in um, from the Black Effect podcast stage. And my dude, DJ Louis V, is providing the soundtrack, man. We're going to have food. We're going to have uh, merchandise. We're going to have a lot of local businesses from Atlanta. That is April 22nd at the Pullman Yards in Atlanta, Georgia, the Black Effect podcast festival. Tickets go on sale. March 1st at 12 p.m. Go to blackeffect.com for more information on that. Now, let's get back to the show. What um, you got, man? This is amazing. White law student suing Howard University. Can you make that bigger for me, Alex? This white dude, what's his name? Michael Newman, claims he suffered depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts due to public ostracism 
Did I say that word right? Ostracism, yeah. Vilification and humiliation. It is also being alleged that global head of diversity recruiting Reggie McGahee told Newman he was the most hated student he had seen during his tenure at the university. The lawsuit states things reportedly took a turn after discussions about Newman's purported racial insensitivity. Students had learned about a tweet that was made from Newman's private Twitter account where he shared a photo of a slave revealing his badly scarred back with the caption, but we don't know what he did before the picture was taken. It was later explained that Newman was reportedly mocking commentators who attempt to explain away videos of police brutality by claiming the victim must have committed wrongdoing before the video started. Oh. Duh. Wow. Court documents claim there had been trouble among the students as they communicated through online forums and through group me chats. His removal from a class group chat occurred after other students didn't have a positive response to his questions relating to black voters after hearing from an African-American speaker in the run up to the 2020 election. The lawsuit states Newman apologized if anyone took offense and said his goal was to learn not just law, but to learn the thoughts and experiences of people of color. Ultimately, there was a panel review held following complaints about Newman, and it was ruled that he was about to be expelled. I'm going to tell you all something, man. I'm sick of us on The Breakfast Club not telling the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody on The Breakfast Club said shit. Go scroll up, Alex. When Envy reported this story, he did not say anything about the guy saying uh, it was later explained that Newman was reportedly mocking commentators who attempt to explain yeah. away videos of police brutality by claiming the victim must have committed wrongdoing before the video started. Duh. That's context. I laugh. He's a white guy that's going to an all-black school. You think he hates black people? No, but you don't have to hate black people to make a poor joke. Well, even if it's a joke. You know what like, I'm saying? Like, like that could have been a that could have been just been a, a poor joke. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, like my, our guy Jesus Nice loves to say you gotta hear both sides. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he might have been playing around on his in my mind, he's playing around on his private Twitter account, sent the photo something to somebody, thought he was being funny. Right. But we didn't know what he did before the picture was taken. Right. Thought it was gonna get a chuckle. The person screenshotted him, put him on blast. Yeah. But, you know, with him saying mocking commentators who attempt to explain away videos of police brutality by claiming the victim must have committed wrongdoing before the video started. I get it. Makes perfect sense to me now. Yeah. And now he's suing for $2 million because he's been getting called cracker and milk cricket. <laughs> milk cricket <laughs> is, you hilarious. say that earlier, one of the funniest That's things hilarious. I've heard. Milk cricket is hilarious. That's, That's hilarious. a great one. Milk cricket is like Usually hilarious. none of the disses for white people hurt. Milk but that one's got a little sting on it. Why? I don't know. It just it's just uh like cracker is kind of funny, honky's funny, like milk cricket. Yeah. Is it the fact that, that milk, one goes. Is it the that fact we goes. found out that dairy is just not good for us over the years? Remember well, they it's lied not good us? for you guys. We love dairy. It's not good for nobody. They, I mean, li they lied to us and told us it's good for calcium in your bones and your teeth, only for it to break down everything else. Yeah. Like human beings are the only creatures who drink the milk of other animals. I don't like that argument. The truth. Well, we eat every other part of the animal. Why That's not good for us either, though. <laughs> but uh, I'm just saying, it's like it's no different. If like I'm going to eat the cow's like uh, fucking liver, then I can drink its milk. You know. But the reality is, none of that's good for us. Like all of that, all, all we're learning over time is that all this shit really isn't good for us. Like you're going to get to an age where no matter what you do, when you go to a doctor, the doctor's going to say, "Cut out red meat, <laughs> bro." But eating eating was good for you is a privilege, bro. I hate when people make this argument. It's like. You say eating what? Eating was good for you as a privilege. Most people got to eat what's there. No, you can still eat like grilled chicken. You know what I mean? Some people ain't fish. got chickens, bro. Some people don't got fish. They Ch eat slop. Chicken has always been one of the cheapest ch things. That's why, you know, a lot of the enslaved, even after they got out of slavery during the Civil War, like one of the ways that they made money was through selling fried chicken. Mm. Easy to feed, easy to raise. Mm. They were the best cooks at it. You know what I mean? And they made a lot of money, especially in Virginia. Like they... Used to literally stay by the trains with the fried chicken and their other baked goods. And when people would get off the train, they would sell it, it up. Yeah. That's why I only understand what even the stereotype of chicken being something negative towards black people, that's just wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's actually a symbol of economic freedom. Yeah. But I don't care what it is. Colon cancer. So do we owe this uh, guy an apology? This white guy? Also, you're going to law school. The school taught you how to sue. <laughs> He's suing for $2 million. That's like on the school. Like, <laughs> yeah. And if you win, it's like, well, this is a good school to practice law. <laughs> I did not hear that other argument. That other argument puts it in perfect context, bro. Yeah. He's you trying to I'm expose saying? how ridiculous police brutality is. Now, could that be something you make up after the fact? Yeah. After you get caught? Yes. Is it a damn good argument? Yes. 
You know what I mean? White people are good, man. But you got to prove that's what you were indeed <laughs> doing. Good, dude. You got to prove that's what you were indeed doing. Yeah. Because the reality is, why would you sit in that privately? I mean, don't you also want to know? What do you mean? Like, don't you want to know? Like, I mean, the picture that he's referencing is the one Will from Smith played the Will Smith yeah. thing. And yeah. like, it is just this Peter Quill? brutal graphic. That's not Peter Quill. That's fucking Guardians of the Galaxy. What's yeah, it? Peter Quill is <laughs> Star-Lord. Star-Lord. Yeah. Star-Lord. Yeah. 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 What's but, the guy's name? <laughs> Like, the, I mean, it's just absolutely brutal and horrendous what this uh, slave went through. So it's yes. like, I think that there is curiosity about like what, what happened for the, his owner to abuse him like that. It was because he was enslaved. His name's Peter. That's by the way. I don't know yeah. if he has that name. Yeah, yeah. Because he was just enslaved. Like. But like, for example, right, let's find out that he got those lashings because he. Tried uh, to escape? Not even tried to escape. Let's say he got them because he didn't uh, put this thing back where it was supposed to. Like, the more information you have about this, the more it exposes the disgust and brutality of slavery. Oh, absolutely. So that's what I'm saying. I, I don't think it's asking the question necessarily is insensitive. I think if you're asking it because... It's the way he asked, though. Fair enough, fair enough. That but, shit is funny. But like, that's comical. Son. That's the shit we say when we're trying to be funny. That's, you know that. He's sitting around in a you group know, go, chat. Like, go back to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, I'm trying to dance, bro. I'm no, trying but to it's dance around like, go back to it. But we don't know what he did before the picture was taken. We know that is a line that's we a line. use. When, yeah. some bu- when we're really just trying to fuck with somebody. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's some bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I get why he did that. He's being sarcastic on purpose. Yes. If what he says is true about, you know, attempting to explain away videos of police brutality. Yeah, maybe you do that at, like, an HWCU. What is the HWCU? Historically white. Oh, PWI? Wait, what? PWI. They have white colleges? This guy's so crazy. It's called PWIs, bro. What was it called? What, is it? what does it mean? PWIs. What is it? Oh, but that's not like made for it. Yeah, it is. Stop it. <laughs> yes, it is. PWIs. You're saying I'm wasting my college experience. You could have got a PWI scholarship, bro. I could have got a PWI scholarship. You know what I'm saying? You could have got a PWI scholarship. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you started on the basketball team. You know what I'm saying? Like, Killing them, bro. <laughs> Yo, that would have been Word fire. Up, see? You playing. See, learn more about your history, bro. I really need to do that. Uh, what else we got? Taylor Gang. Yeah, we talked about Jake Paul a lot on flagrant. Biden says I'm a white boy, but not dumb because he knows the divine nine. President, we got we could play the audio too. Play the audio. I don't. But, this poor guy. It, Even every time he speaks, it's play the so audio. Embarrassing. Like play the audio, yo. He said that. He may be a white boy, but he's not dumb because he knows all of the divine nine. He, the I would have challenged him right then and there. I would have yelled out, challenge! Challenge! What are the divine nine? Name him right now, Joe. Go. Beyonce. Uh, <laughs> Oprah. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Solange. I don't know. And I, I would have I I called his bluff. Name the divine nine, What are bro? the divine nine? Sororities. Sororities and fraternities. Oh, they're black sororities and fraternities? I guess. I, I, to be, I didn't go to college. I just know that they're sororities and fraternities. I don't know if they're... Can you look that up, Taylor? Again? I'm, I'm pretty sure... I'm, I'm, right I'm pretty sure it's, I know it's sororities and fraternities. So what did he say wrong? What do you mean? Like, what was bad about what he said? He's pandering. That's a Black History Month event. He's in front of a room full of black people. How, he would never... How we don't know, he would don't never... Know he you would don't even never, know. He would, I, know, I know some of them, but I know he don't know them. I know, know he don't know. How you know? I know he don't know AKA. them. AKA. AKA. Of course, everybody knows AKA. Uh, the Deltas. Zeta. Zeta. Sigma. For sure. Um, mm. Are the guys in that too? Kappa okay, Alpha so you got Kappas, the Kappas, the Qs. You got the Q the dogs. Sigmas. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's two more. Who the other two? Who the other two? Oh, Betas, Phi Beta, and um, the yeah, shit from the Revenge Iotas, of the Nerds. The Iotas. Also the Iotas. You know what I'm saying? You really think Joe Biden can name them? I mean, you barely could. I don't think Joe Biden can name what he had for breakfast. <laughs> okay, so I don't think he's good. But the fact that he knows the divine nine, and also he's speaking at this thing to pander. He's That's pandering. why he's going. That's but he's that, going there to pander. Oh, God damn. What is he supposed bro. to go there and be like, black people, this is what's wrong with you. Yeah, no, go in there and talk about black legislation. What, is, what do you about, want? Go talk do, about black legislation. Talk about black policy. What do you, know you know want I mean? him to legislate? Talk about black equity. There's a plenty of things. Go talk about the George Floyd Police Act. There's a million things he could be talking about. What in is the George to black Floyd people. Police Act? The George Floyd Police Act has police reform. Police reform that they have not passed yet. And how how would you like the police reform? 
how would I like the police reform? Yeah. Um, I do like the George Floyd policing act. I think one thing, uh, one thing in there that is very important is the uh, the the keep the getting rid of qualified immunity. Hmm. I think getting rid of qualified immunity would change a lot of things. You know what I mean? And that's one of the reasons they can't come to terms on it. Because, qualified immunity is... Hold on. Let me look it up because I want to be accurate about what, what qualified immunity is. Hold on. But basically, it's holding them accountable. Hold on. Qualified immunity police definition. Um, it protects state and local officials, including law enforcement officers, from individual liability unless the official violated a clearly established constitutional right. So if you know that you can be held liable as an individual and that motherfucking pension or whatever could be taken away, you'll think twice. Mm. You'll think twice. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Get rid of qualified immunity. I think that might change a lot of things. You know what I mean? So I think that's, 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 that's one thing that they should be discussing. I don't care. I don't care whether or not you know the divine nine or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit like, slaps like, though. Of course it slaps because motherfuckers love shout outs. Yeah. People do. love, why do you think people, why do you think people love shout outs so much? Shout outs are huge. Yeah. People want to get tagged on social media. Yeah. They want to get shouted out on the radio. Yeah. You on stage somewhere and somebody shot you out from that stage. Chappelle or somebody, you love that. Yeah. People love that type of shit. So it's just like, eh, whatever, man. <laughs> um, What else we got? Eh. What? Just saying. He couldn't know the Divine Nine. I don't believe he knew who the Divine Nine was, what? Alex. I don't. I believe that was the talking point they gave him before he got on that stage. That's he said, I might be a white boy? Yeah. Well, I has, hate that. that that's, come on that, now. That shit is... That's pandering too. Yeah, but that I don't like that kind of pandering. I like the I like the Divine Nine pandering. It's like showing that you know a little something that people thought you I mean, you, you know your know. audience. It's like it's like you doing stand-up and you like you in... Uh, I know a nuanced thing about... A, a nuanced thing about a, a city, city you're in. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I, I, that's True. better than just being like, I'm a white, I'm a white boy. boy but I was like, that's white cooning, bro. That's <laughs> white cooning. That that's is. white tap dancing. That I don't is. like that, that shit. That is. You're absolutely goddamn yeah. right. Um, oh, man. Salute to Master P, man. Yeah, what what, what what was this? I saw this pop up. Well, you know, my my, my good sister, Jess Hilarious, who I love. I don't know if I... I, I love Jess Hilarious, yo. I've loved Jess Hilarious for a long time. She is a good person. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> So, That's why we have so, just back. What? My, man, my what? man almost died from sleep apnea. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yo, 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 Drax. So Drax. Drax was, <laughs> Drax, Drax, Drax was knocked out like this in his way. <laughs> Come on, Drax. God damn. Oh. Nah, man. I, listen, I love Jess Hilarious, man. Jess Hilarious has been entertaining me. For well over a decade on social media, and you know she's somebody that you know I've been I've been partners with for a long time. You know we we do a lot of business together. You know what I mean she's 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 got her podcast carefully reckless on the Black Effect. You know she's got some things that she's done with us, uh, me and Kevin Hart for Audible. But I just love Jess. You know what I'm saying yeah. I think she's hilarious. I think she's genius at what she does, and people don't realize Jess always wanted to do radio. Like, oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, back in the day, Jess used to do Just With The Best for, for Ricky Smiley. You know what I'm saying? But she oh, just, wow. yeah, she's just one of them. She's 31 now, so shit. I mean, I probably known Jess since she was like 20. Oh, Maybe wow. 19, 20, 21, something like that. She's good. That's what I'm saying. She's good. She's just somebody who figured it out on yeah. all levels from social media. You know, she 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 takes the craft, the comedy series. She's actually on stage, mm -hmm. which a lot of people from social media aren't. Like, she's mm -hmm. been on stage for a while. I've I, Seen her sell out Caroline's three, four years ago. So salute to Jess. But Jess guest hosted on um, Breakfast Club last week and, you know, killed it. Like, we, I knew she would. But she told this story. Play the, play the, play the audio. Here's the thing. You know, um, Master P replied. Do we need to play? We, we'll play, play, we'll play with Master P replied and said that, you know, he felt like. I don't even put it like this. Master P hit me last week after he heard that and he was not happy. And I understand, you know, why he wasn't, why he wasn't happy. And he yep. wanted to come on the Breakfast Club Friday, but then, you know, he decided like he just didn't want to give it no energy. But when I walked in to the radio station Monday morning, he was there. Master P was in the lobby. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Master P was in the lobby. Wow. And he wanted, he said he wanted to come up and just, you know, educate the culture. And, you know, he, this is what he said. Thoughts? Yeah, nothing was really said. I like, she either got paid or she didn't get paid. Well, she said he said it was the production company. 
didn't pay her. Well, she got her front end. He said if she didn't get her other, her back end, it's, it's on the production company, not him. I mean, I don't know. I'd have to look and see what his role in the movie is. If you are the the executive producer of the movie, it is your film, mm -hmm. right? You are, and, and you are the person that's saying, hey, this is my film and brought to you by me and I'm the guy. I would imagine that you take responsibility for everything under it. Now, if you sold this film to a studio and to a production company, and it's not really your film, it's their film, mm -hmm. right? So then maybe they're in control of it mm -hmm. and not you and they have to pay out all these people. But the way I think it was marketed was this is his film, his everything. Yeah, and I mean, you don't really know, right? Like if you're- You also it, hire the production company if he is the executive producer. Yeah. If he sold the rights to it to somebody, then that's different. Yeah, everything you're saying is true. You know, and if you're just a you know, if you're just hilarious, all you know is that you and P have a relationship. Because that's the thing that happens a lot of times in situations like this that doesn't happen anywhere else. You're actually talking yeah. to the person, yeah. you know, who is behind the film. And so when things don't go right, that's who you go directly to. Yeah. Um, I think what P, first of all, man, you got to salute Master P. Master P is a is a bona fide legend. Yeah. Like there's there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Being a black man from the South who loves hip hop, back in the day, I don't even remember what year it was, 98, 99, maybe it was 2000, but Diddy was on the Forbes list. That was cool. You know what I mean? To see somebody from hip hop on the Forbes list. Will Smith was on the Forbes list. Mm. That was cool. You see a black man from hip hop on the Forbes list. That was cool. But, you know, Will Smith and Diddy at the time both made a certain kind of music that we liked. Mm. But it wasn't like at, it wasn't that South shit. When I saw Master P on the Forbes yeah, list. Yeah, it felt attainable for you. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Master P? Like that? Like, you know, I didn't expect that. Like, you know what I mean? Inspiration. That, so it's a different type of inspiration. And like, I've been knowing P. I, shit, I've been interviewing P, man. Since I was doing radio in Charleston, South Carolina, on first time I met Pete, I think it was 2001 on Hot 98.9 when Lil Romeo was a little, little, little boy, you know? So you got to salute Master P. That's number one. But what hap what's happening with P right now is he's paying the cost to be the boss. This yeah. is what happens when you're the boss, you know? Because he's, all, oh, sorry. He's also, just to clarify, claiming that she was paid in full and that she was saying that there was a check that never came, but that's yeah. contractually not true. That's what that's what Master P is saying yeah. right here. Yeah, Master P, uh, the copy. Yeah, he said the copy of the check was cashed and paid. I guess he tweeted. Yeah, he po he posted it on Instagram. He said the yeah. copy of the check that was cashed and paid. But Jesse saying she was supposed to get another check. And then you know he, what I mean. Master P says she was joking about the second check, and that, that was, was never, never in her in contract. contract. That's the narrative they ran with for clickbait, fake headlines. Thank God for receipts. I, so. I I don't. Yeah, I don't know what's. I honestly don't know what's true and what's not true. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. There's three sides to every story. It could be P's. It could be Jesse's. It could be Romeo's. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? All I'm simply saying is when you are the boss, this is what happens. Yeah. Like, you know, if you if there's an artist that you like and, you know, you invest into that artist, whether it's to create a mixtape like he did with, you know, Fat Trail and things don't work out, who going to get pointed at? Yeah. You. Yeah. You know, if it's a movie and you recruited people for the movie. And you know, you know, the, the, the people feel like they don't get, they didn't get paid or they didn't get a back end or whatever it was. They gonna blame you. Yeah, that's just the cost you pay. You know, to to to, to be the boss. And and I I can understand how it's frustrating because I think I don't think I know Master P has great intentions. You know what I'm saying? Like Master P is not a person out here who's like just blatantly trying to get over on people. Right. You know what I mean? He's absolutely positively trying to do the right thing. But man, yeah. if you if you do business long enough, shit like this is gonna happen. Yeah. You know, you just hope that it don't, it don't always have to go public, but it's impossible not to in this day and age. Yeah. People take their grievances and they run the social media. Well, you you would hope that like Jess, if she had a relationship with P, could just message him directly. And if P ignored it, then the only other recourse she has outside to of go like, publicly. Legal uh, is, uh, yo, and, and, yeah. and to your point, it's like, yo, Black Effect, that's 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 my company. You know what I'm saying? Me, me and my good sister, Dolly Bishop, you know? I might be more accessible than Dolly. Because mm -hmm. I have, you know, like me and like, people like Jess got a relationship way before any of this. Yeah. So if if, if Jess got an issue, she, she might right come to right to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She might, like, like and I'm not, that has happened. Yep. You know? So I, I, I can see that. I can see where those, you know, lines of communication can be, can be misconstrued. Man. Yeah. yeah. I can see where the miscommunication comes. Taylor, can we do some asking idiots? Yeah. Salute to Master P and Jess, though, man. Did I tell y'all I, I love Jess? Yes, you did. Okay. She killed it, huh? On the Breakfast Club. 
I just I just think she's a phenomenal. I think she's just a star, bro. Like, but like a lot of stories I feel like came out from her week. Just body. Yeah, she really did. Just body. So the numbers have been good. With Breakfast Club numbers. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm just saying, like, it seems like that's I don't know. I'm just that. I'm just seeing a lot of like buzz from it. I don't know. No, nah, that's funny you say that. I mean, I did. I, I don't. Know, I heard like something. outside of your channels and all these things. I just see stories continue to pop up. No, nah, I, I I heard something. I heard something this week. I, like it was Breakfast Club. Digital footprint wise, it recently just really hitting on a lot of different things. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. We're doing the same thing that we've always been doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Breakfast Club can be consumed four ways. We can be consumed on the radio, radio every day. YouTube, you know, every day, every podcast. I think I think the number is like four point five million daily or weekly listeners. I think it's daily weekly. I don't know. It's like four point five million listeners. Yeah. You know, and then that's just the radio. And then you can consume the podcast, whether people realize it or not, the number one black podcast and i don't like to use the word urban but the number one black podcast is the breakfast club mm-hmm. but you know it's a cheat code because we are a radio show yeah and we put the podcast out as a daily podcast so, right. so we know we're putting out five times a week as opposed to other people putting out one right. and then you know you consume via social media you consume via youtube i think people get and like, you consume via the blogs and the that's social media oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah sorry yeah, sorry yeah, yeah social media is where it's been kind of penetrating my feed i find yeah and see that's the, i think that's what people get things misconstrued a lot of times because you go on YouTube and, you know, uh, you might look at a channel and that person's channel, they, 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 it might be that time where they just won with the algorithm and every video they put up is getting a million, you know, plus views. And then you might go to somebody else's page and be like, well, they not, they not getting a million views mm. like they used to. That don't mean shit when you're mm. getting consumed four different ways. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I don't know. And, and I, you'll see, I guess you'll see this too. Or maybe all channels see this. We've been on YouTube for, what, damn near a decade now? Mm. Maybe maybe, maybe, eight, maybe eight, nine years. I think the algorithms change. They do. Am I tripping? They do. Yeah. They do. You know what I'm saying? They reward like, different things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there was a point, you, you could fart on a Breakfast Club video and it might get a million yeah. views. You know <laughs> what I mean? But, you know. I now, think that they're rewarding long form. And yeah. uh, now YouTube's probably trying to compete with TikTok, so it's probably rewarding short, short, short form. form. No, yeah. you're right. No, you're right. Because those so, YouTube clips for us, shorts go crazy. go crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you guys have so many clippable moments. But I don't know. It's just really awesome and, and, to see. And, and catalog. Of course, the old stuff comes back. That's right. And it's just, for, yeah. For whatever reason, us moving into the new studio has people digging into the catalog a lot more, mm-hmm. looking at a lot of older stuff. And it's just like anything else. You know how like you'll watch George Carlin stand up? And those moments now make yeah. more sense. Yeah, yeah. Now that's what's happening in a lot of Breakfast Club videos. People are pulling old quotes from people and things yeah. people said. And, you know, it makes more sense now than it did, yeah. you know, back then. So, hey, man, we just going to keep being consistent. Yeah, I mean, it's you know? cool to see, man. But like, this doesn't seem like consistency. This seems like a fucking rocket ship. What do you mean? I'm just saying, lately, that's a... I'm just happy to be here, man. God is good, man. It's been great. I love, ha- I love Breakfast Clubs. My baby. It's a fun, really fun environment. Anywho. Let's do some asking idiots. idiots. Ooh. This is a good one. Go, what do we got? This is for you, because I don't know nothing about neither one of these shit. Would you be would you rather be stuck in the world of Game of Thrones or Last of Us? It really depends what I am in Game of Thrones. But even then, the stress of, like, just maintaining empire and yada, yada, yada. But then the stress of, like, trying to find food and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Could so James Dolan get some pussy in that era? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot to choose from, right? You can... Where? In that era. Which era? Game Last of, of Us or Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. But no, nah, you pay for that shit easy. You just go to the brothels. Oh, I thought they were banging, like, their family members and all types of Also that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, everybody's uh, available if you're a Targaryen. But, uh, yeah, The Last of Us seems exciting because you got to, like, take out zombies. You also got to take out bad humans. Too much stress. I mean, it's stress, but also kind of exciting. That's, like, real pure survival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, know, yeah. I feel like with Game of Thrones, I wouldn't even try to be part of, like, the politics and shit. I'd just go find an island somewhere, some land somewhere, get the fuck out of there. Like, yeah. I don't want to deal with these motherfuckers. Yeah. Scroll up, Taylor. I like that. It was one I liked right there. What movie makes you cry? Woof. Oh, man. A mm. bunch of them. Cool. Every one of them Pixar joints. Every cartoon movie I cry at. Uh, Remember the Titans. The Notebook, not really. Any, like, father-son relationship in a movie, I cry. I cry a lot in movies. Yeah, Love me too, crying. man. Um, Ricky, when he gets shot in Boys in the Hood, 
every single fucking time. Wow. Bro. I mean, every time I watch that shit, like, man, zigzag, Ricky. Like, <laughs> yeah. don't go to the store, Ricky. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just stay home a little while longer till you get your acceptance letter. Like, you just hoping things change. I'm going to tell you what gets me every fucking time. Like, if I want to cry, like, you know how you feel like crying and you've been holding that shit in? My girl, bro. Oh, wow. Bro, mm -hmm. when Thomas J gets stung by them goddamn bees and then they had a funeral yeah. and Velma comes running down the stairs talking about his glasses, his glasses, he can't see without his glasses. Oh, yeah, my yeah, yeah. fucking God. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'll tell you what else makes me cry. Two Tyler Perry movies. Which ones? The one where the woman is a crackhead but she busts in the church crying. Which one is that, Taylor? That's the first one. That's Diary of a Mad Black Woman? That is? That one? When, when, when she busts in the church crying? And when goddamn Idris Elba says, fuck it, I'm going back to jail. These motherfuckers done put their hands on my little girls. And that motherfucker says, fuck it. And the way he's fighting with himself, because he know I'm about to go back to jail, but I don't give a shit. Does he? No, he doesn't. Because Gabrielle Union was his lawyer and Gabrielle Union um, got him off. But man, when he rams that car into the drug dealer's car and just beats the shit out the drug dealer and the whole neighborhood rises up, oh, tears of joy. Tears of fucking joy. I used to cry when Mufasa got killed in Lion King. Not so much anymore. Yeah. Not so much anymore. God, I'm trying to think of other movies that I've cried truthfully, at. Truthfully, Mufasa probably should have let Simba get tra trampled. Oh my God. Charlotte, you seen Coco? Oh, my God. Coco. Coco's that one. Holy I, I shit. I have seen Coco. Oof. No, Coco's crazy. When you said Coco, the Mexican shit popped in my head. It is yeah, the Mexican shit. That's the Mexican shit. one. Yeah. That's the one? By yeah. the Night of the Living Dead and all Yes. That? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I seen Coco. Oh, dude, the end of that is Oof. Just... That makes me cry oh, every time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't it's remember it. Cry. I don't remember the end. Hmm? You know what didn't get me, yo? Right what? Up. You know, everybody goes to the beginning scene of Up. They get all sad and shit. I ain't get sad at that. I don't remember Up. That's with spirits? Nah, it's with the house that goes in the air. Like a the boat. dude is trying to leave. He lost his wife or whatever. I don't remember that one. I don't know. That shit didn't really get me. I'm trying to think of other movies. Oh, Coco fucking slapped me. Nah, I didn't really. Mine, th 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 those are the ones that made me cry. I'm Ugh, fucking, I love I'm a good cry. cry I love a good fucking cry. I'm, I'm waiting to cry at All You There, God, it's me, Margaret. No, I don't, I don't know about that. You don't think you're gonna cry for all your day got to me, Mike? I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not Judy gay. Bloom. Yeah, I'm not gay. I'm your, not a gay guy. So. Your wife is bringing you to see Judy Bloom. You bro. think? Absolutely. I know your wife was a Judy Bloom fan growing up. I gotta ask. Don't even ask. Be like, yo, all got us tickets for all your day. Got us me, Margaret. Opening night. Done. Done, bruh. Mm -hmm. Done, bruh. Done. I'm trying to tell you, Judy Bloom. Come on now. Okay, maybe I'll check. Uh, it. Thoughts on the new Ant Man movie? I didn't watch it. You didn't see it? No, I don't care about Ant-Man. And I love Paul Rudd, but I I, I don't fuck with Fantastic. Him. The way Jonathan Majors was stomping out Ant-Man is how he going to do you and fucking Alex. And that might be the case. Um, Jonathan Majors. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, show us. <laughs> what? what? Show, what? with the success you've gotten, what are you doing to avoid getting lazy, comfy? I just keep working, man. I just keep working, keep thinking of new things I want to do. I feel like I don't have any time. I would love to be lazy. Okay. I would love to do that, but there's things that I want to do, man. And it's it's a grind. It's a grind to to do one of the things that I'm doing. And to have multiple, it takes a lot of time. True. It takes a lot, a lot of time. True. And uh, so that, that stops me from feeling lazy and uh, I guess ambition as well. So, yeah. I really want to get back on the road. I really want to get back into the What you waiting on? No, I'm, I'm working on it. Okay, but okay, okay. I don't, I don't want to go out there and just like... Bullshit. Bullshit. Like, I, it has to be important. So don't you have to bullshit a little to build a set? No, I build the set by bullshitting in the city. Right? Got you. Got and not bullshit, but like really going out and like trying and working out bits and failing and yeah, doing yeah, all these yeah, things. Yeah. And then once I develop enough time, then you start to like kind of mold it on the road. But I don't want to, I don't want to like, for me, it's like people are coming out. They spend a lot of money for the show. They're getting a babysitter. They're getting dressed up. And it's just like, no, nah, I'm not going to just go, oh, let's see what happens. It got to be a show. I would really you know? love to see you do the idea, man. Maybe, maybe we I'm do it. I'm telling you, man. The special Now's comes the time, around. man. Maybe when the special comes around. Now's the time, man. Because you know what I, I, I like about stand-ups now? There's only one person I think that is absolutely doing real specials. Who's that? Neil Brennan. Your, yours was special, but yours is special for different reasons. It was special because... You're saying Neil had like a theme a around theme. the special. Yeah. Yours was special because of what you chose to do with Infamous. Yeah. Taking yeah. it back from corporate America, yeah. putting it out yourself. Yeah. You've been rebelling against PC culture. 
Like that's what ma- that it, ma- it made it a special. I, you yeah. know, I gotta go see this. Like, what it made it important? Number one, why yeah. did they not want to put it out? Yeah. Number two, why was it so important to show to say fuck that? Take yeah. this money back. Let me get it. Yeah. I want to see what. That's why was it? This, that's a special to me. Yeah. Why is it bigger than just comedy? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And Neil's done a great job of that with yeah. the three mics and now, blocks. you know, the Blocks. Blocks, blocks is, is great. Oh, my God, man. Go check oh out Blocks. Oh, my God. Blocks is fantastic. On Netflix. Yo. Go check it out. Fantastic. That's why I like what Chris is doing. Yeah. Chris is making his special yeah. special yeah. by doing something He's different. He's trying to make a moment out of it. And, it's, and, and yeah. you know, people act like, people talk that shit like, oh, man, it's too late for him to talk about Will. Bullshit. Well, it's too late until he does. Until and he does. Exactly. And then it's the perfect time. But exactly. We haven't heard him say anything about it, which was smart. I knew he was waiting to get that bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And he got that bag. I thought he was going to do like a special like Dave and just do like a 15 minute, you know, big hit of quitter. Throw that out there. And it's all about Will. But now nah, he decided to add it to a stand up, which yeah. makes which makes sense. And I've seen I've seen Chris's stand up twice. I've yeah. seen this special twice. Yeah. And I've seen him add on to it, which I think is the beauty of comedians. You know what I'm saying? I saw it. Last year when they did the garden. And he's just developed it and built it. That's right. Especially Chris. I mean, he's one of the greatest comedic man, minds ever. Man, I, I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? I asked yeah. you a question. I said, I said, man, is it just me or does it feel like Chris isn't revered like the Carlins and the Chappelles, but he should be? I think that he should be. Like, we, we spoke about this, like, I think with, uh, I think it was like Monique. Mm-hmm. And I think it's like, I think in general, people have like a what have you done for me lately vibe with whatever it is. It's, it's, especially if you're acting. What has George Carlin done for people lately? He God died. The day. He but died. That's my, my point, but he's, he got the work. The catalog sure, is there. Sure, 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 sure. His catalog is there. And for us, he's revered. And I think the next generation needs to see things. Like people live in the like what's going on now yeah. moment. And we right. are, I'm prisoner of the moment. I'm the ultimate prisoner right. of the moment, right? Like I watch a boxing match and one guy wins. I'm like, that guy's the truth. That guy's the yeah, best. Yeah, I'm yeah, a prisoner. Yeah. I watch a movie and it was, it, it, I loved it. That's the best movie I've ever seen. Right, I'm right. prisoner of the moment. And I think that like, if you constantly give people reminders, I think Chappelle has just given more people reminders of his greatness, right? Than, than Chris has. Like Chris will do a special, what? One every, one every like five years. But Chappelle, that's what's so interesting what you say, because Chappelle wasn't even known as the stand-up guy. He's the sketch guy. He was the sketch guy. He had, I mean, don't get me wrong, Killing Me Softly was a fantastic stand-up For special. what it's worth, and Killing Me Softly were fantastic, but P, he wasn't a superstar until sketch. He wasn't bring the pain. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It wasn't, never scared. Well, that's the thing about Chris, is like, Chris made it off of stand-up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- wasn't big and black, though. Yeah, stand. I mean, bringing the pain was fucking unreal. Come on, man. Big and Black was phenomenal. Big and Black was phenomenal as well. But bringing the pain is like one of the craziest sets you'll ever see from a stand-up comedian. And, and, and that's what's so interesting to me. It's like when even that conversation we was having when people were saying that uh, you know, Chris pandas the white people. I'm like, what Chris Rock are y'all watching? That to your point, that let me know this generation may not know the history of Chris Rock. Like, they, they, I mean, you couldn't be more wrong. You could, you couldn't be more wrong. He literally made bigger and blacker. Because he felt like he was being embraced by white people too much. <laughs> people said to him, oh, he can't be funny to black people. Really? And he did it at the Apollo. Yeah. He went he bigger and blacker at the Apollo in Harlem yeah. just to show y'all how bad I am in front of any motherfucking crowd, yeah. Joe. Yeah. So, nah, salute to Chris Rock. And um, yeah, to us. I'm excited for the Netflix special. I, and it's I, a ballsy thing to do. It's like a really, really ballsy thing to do to do your special live mm. it, th- for so many different reasons it's a boss like just so many different things not only could like something grow wrong or you mess up a joke or you mess up a tag or whatever the fuck that is right and then not the best version of your set comes out that's number one but also like you got to trust the director knows the choreography of your jokes like what if you're delivering your oh, punchline yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, in like yeah. a super wide shot where they can't even see your facial expressions yeah. they can't even see like the, the emotion yeah. that you're trying to draw and they can't build attention. Like whoever's directing that special Gotta be on point. Sh- should be following him on the road, know every little bit of movement, every little bit of choreography. Cause especially a guy like Chris, think about how many iconic moments in his special where he, where he's like, hey, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, get yeah. that nice tight shot of him, like really locked in emotionally to it. I think they have been though. Cause I, I know Good. when I Good. saw him in North they Charleston, have to. they have to. Yeah. yeah. When I saw him in North Charleston this year, he had a lot of more cameras around him. Good. He and just did. constantly understanding his motions, where he's going to be. Chris is very mobile. 
Like he's a comic that paces a lot, right? Yeah. So it's like, you got to be able to follow him. Like that task is going to be really difficult for the director. Chris has been doing comedy at the highest level for 30 years or 40 years. But I'm not worried about Chris at all. What I am worried about is the director doing Chris justice. Yeah. So I, I you know, all credit to the director if he pulls it off, but yeah, you got a task on, in uh, it, front of you. I friend. agree. It is all on the director because uh, there's nothing Chris Rock can't do live. After watching what happened with, went down at the Oscars. Okay. You know what I mean? After he got, we'll, we'll put hands on him. He kept going. Yeah. You know, so much so that we thought it was fake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's do one more asking idiot. Uh, solitude or community. What's more community. impactful to success? Community. You need community. Yeah, that we're, we are communal creatures. We fall apart without one another. It's a punishment in jail to put somebody in a cell by themselves because we crave community. Even that, that community is a bunch of people who have murdered and, you know, like, uh, stolen and, uh, you know. I don't think it's either or. I think it's both. But it, yes, but you need community. You need community, you need but community. then you need that solitude too because you need to reflect. To reflect, you need that yeah. meditation. You know, you think that sick shit that you send to the community group chat to see, you know what I mean? But you, <laughs> the solitude is what makes that sick shit come. You You're know right. what I mean? No, no, no. You, you do, you do, you do, you when that. I get a text from Andrew and it's like, can I ask y'all something? <laughs> oh, something. I know <laughs> that he's sitting around somewhere in solitude <laughs> and he's come up with these thoughts that he wants to share with the community to see what our what our, our response yeah. is going to yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And then, then after you try it in the group chat, you might try it amongst people. Yeah. Then you might bring it to the pod. Yeah. Then you might even bring it to the stage. There we go. Or the radio, whatever it is. There I just think you go. need a little bit of both. But yes, uh, I do agree. Community. Community. Bo it's both. Solitude, all community. I think you need a little bit of both. I don't know which one you need more. Probably community. Yeah. But you definitely need... Uh, you definitely need both. Time to yourself. Yo, these have been good questions. Sister. Great questions, man. Yeah. Great questions. Thank you for once. <laughs> idiots <laughs> listeners <laughs> you know what I mean um, as always if you listen to this podcast you think we're smart you think we're intelligent you think we're brilliant you're absolutely right but if you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit you're right too it's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast thank you for listening peace